My family room is a blank slate and ready for me to put the Christmas tree up and decorate a little bit for the holidays. So the tree I'm going to be putting here in the family room is this 7.5 foot tree. It has some sparkles and it has a little bit of frost in it and I love it. I've been having it for about four years now and I did get it from the Home Depot. So this tree did come pre-lit and they are like a warm white lights. And I also like that as I put it together, um, the pieces just start lighting up on its own. Santa, I've been good this year. Make your list and check it twice. I'll leave you a note right here. Underneath the Christmas light. So after giving it a little fluff, this is what the tree is looking like. And I will put the ornaments later on in the video. I do love my family being involved in putting the ornaments up. And so I just save that for the end so they can help me because they don't want to be in the video, which is perfectly fine. So now for this area of the room. On top of this dresser I have, I'm just going to make it like a little village. I'm laying down this piece of fabric I have that acts as the fake snow layer. And all I'm going to do here is just put my white ceramic trees and houses and then just have it all nice and white. These are all older pieces I've been having from previous years, the little houses from Target. I want to say the majority is from Target. And then I'm just adding these fairy lights or twinkle lights just to give it a nice glow at night. Carols and bells, none of them help. I still feel blue. I just want to fall in love this Christmas. I absolutely love how this area turned out. It's my favorite by far over the years of how I put my mini village together. I don't need a fancy watch. You can give the elves a break. No, you can't make it in the shop. You can't put it. So because it is a family room and we do spend a lot of time here, especially me and my three-year-old son, I want to do a centerpiece for the table, but I'm hot gluing the items into this charger because I don't want him moving them around or just losing the items and then that way I don't have to worry and it all stays in place. So I'm putting these bottle brush trees and I'm also putting these cute white reindeers that I did get from Target last year and I'm just hot gluing them to this Dollar Tree charger. To incorporate the brown color that I've been using throughout my home, I'm just going to hot glue a few pieces of ribbon on top of each tree. On this side of the family room, I do have some of my son's toys down here. 
Um, I do want to spice it up and decorate it a little bit for the holidays for him. So I'm just going to put on top some of his Christmas books I have. And you'll see towards the end of the clip, I did add another book that I thought was so cute from Target. And it says his name. And I'm going to add my little wooden houses and the little aluminum homes. And these are non-breakable, so I don't have to worry about him breaking it or just playing around with his own little village and making it fun and magical for him. Make your list and check it twice I'll leave you a note right here Underneath the Christmas light to hang a garland on top of the fireplace without a mantle, I use some of the bigger command hooks and I use about three of them, one on each side and then one in the center. I'm going to use this beautiful garland I've been having for about four years now from the Home Depot as well. I just love it. I think it's so beautiful and it has some eucalyptus with some of the pine and it does have some pine cones attached and i just love how it looks it did come with some gold ornaments that i took away because i just wanted it more organic feeling So I did hang it with the swag more to one side and here I'm going to add this bow with some of the smaller bells that I got from Target. I added this joy sign to this side just to give it some more visual interest. I also forgot to add that the garland does light up, so at night it looks really, really beautiful. It's Christmas time. Grab your coat, it's getting cold. Just look at the falling snow. This season's greetings, happy meetings. Oh, and a little bit of so they're decorating the Christmas tree with a star on top for you and me. Can you hear the sleigh bells? It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. So this year, instead of hanging the stockings on over the fireplace, I decided to do something different. And I'm just going to use my coat rack or coat hanger and I thought it would be easy and nice just to put the stockings here. They're more secure. Um, I don't got to worry if the command hook is going to hold it up with everything I put in there. And just right here on the side. And I think it came out really good. I just wanted to, like I said, do something different. Way up north and making toys for better than the year before Santa's crossing off every wish even moms and dads have made the list can you hear the sleigh bells it's Christmas time the sound of sleigh bells on reindeer only come this time of year we dash up on our sectional, I'm just going to add this blanket I did get from Kirkland's and I did get two of those. And I'm going to add these pillows. I love the white one that has 
um, just some snowflakes and I think it's so nice and subtle and I got a few of those and those were from Amazon and I've been having them for a while and I'm just adding these green pillows just to bring in some more depth and some more of that natural color I'm trying to go for.